play it as fast as you can. Just, just total balls out speed. Just go. <laughs> Okay, so the, your problem here isn't the lack of speed. You have plenty of speed. The problem is that the synchronization between the two hands aren't lining up like teeth of a gear. Like we got, this is, imagine this is a gear. Right. These are four of the teeth, and this is a gear. In order for those gears to work in a clock or in whatever, in a transmission, those gears have to line up like this, right? Yeah. Well, it's not. What's happening is the, the teeth are coming together. It's like, oh, you ever, gr you ever grinded your gears in a transmission? That's what's happening here. You're grinding your gears. Mm. Okay. So the two hands aren't in sync yet. And when you speed up, the problem gets worse. Right. Okay. So what, you, you don't need to pick faster, and you don't need your left hand to move faster. We just need the two hands to come in sync and work together. So if you continue to practice fast, but while you're grinding the gears, you're never going to get any faster in terms of real speed. Your picking might get faster, and your left hand might get faster, but none of it will be usable. OK? Right. So let's go to. Is that the one you were doing? Yeah. OK. Play it, play it again, Don't go slower, and you can, when you're in sync, you can feel it, mm -hmm. okay? Have you ever played, um, have you ever played slow, and you can tell, you can feel that it's in sync, and then as you speed up, you can feel in your hands that it's getting away from you. Yeah. That's the feeling you want to pay attention to. See, the problem is, when you try to listen to how clean something is, when you're going fast, yeah. Very often, your fingers can outrun your brain or your, your ears, all right? When you hear a sound, your brain needs to process, interpret, and then make critical decisions about what it's hearing. All of that takes time. Right. It takes a lot of time, okay? So as you get better as a player, as you advance, and as you learn to, as your brain works faster to make those decisions when it what it's perceiving when you're listening, you'll be able to hear it in real time better, okay? But right now, I sense, because of the question that you're asking and why you're asking it, that you're not fully able to hear that yet at the speed that you can play, because you're a pretty quick player, okay? So what we need to do is rely on the feeling, okay? Because you can always feel at any speed you can play. Right. Okay? And you can feel it at much, much higher speeds than you can hear it at this point. As you advance, your ear will develop and you will be able to hear it at the same speed that you can play and feel. But right now, you're not there yet with your, with your ears. So what we need to do is just focus on the feeling. Okay? So play, uh, just play part of the sequence. <laughs> Focus on what it feels like when it's in sync and memorize that feeling, okay? Then gradually, slowly increase the speed, paying attention still to what it feels like until you get to the point where you can sense that it doesn't feel like it's in sync anymore. That is the threshold that you need to practice below, you need to practice below that threshold to okay. develop the two-hand synchronization. 